Hello Internet! This is a very convenient tutorial for template making and for any organization freak, really. Revit can be a pain in the ass when it comes to the lead stuff that is already in the model. But after this tutorial, you're going to be able to delete almost everything you need. And I say almost because the script is set to select any element type. But if you want, you can use it as a starting point and change it to select something else. To illustrate this, I chose to delete some cat types from my template. Something that really annoys me are cat elements that comes with uploaded family types. I will create a drafting view to show what I mean. When I draw some line element, my line styles appear to be organized and everything seems clean. But if you go to manage line patterns, there are several line patterns from imported files. To get rid of those, I have to click and delete one by one and honestly nobody has time for me. So Dynamo comes to save the day here. Dynamo is not as hard as you may think, so don't be afraid to use it. Dynamo is a visual programming tool made for people that don't know code but need to use it to improve their workflow. So instead of writing lines of code, we are going to be using nodes and wires to connect functions into a script. Let's get, start Let's get started. Go to the Manage tab and press Dynamo. You can start a new Dynamo file and follow the story with me, or you can just download the script in the description below and use it. If you fall into the second category of people, that's fine. Just like and subscribe, it will help a lot because it's a small channel. First thing we need to do in the script is to select the element type, and we only need two nodes for that. Right click into the white space and type element types. Right click again and this time type all elements of type. Now connect the two nodes and with these two we're going to be able to select almost everything inside of Revit. The thing, the thing is I don't want to select all line patterns, I just want to select the ones that start with hidden which are the ones that were imported from the CAD file. Luckily, there is a way to filter what we want in Dynamo. In the first node, select line patterns and right click on the white space and let's create a watch list. Now click on run in the bottom left corner. And if you're like me, that forgot to change from automatic to manual, please do it now. So the list is showing us all the line patterns, but you actually want to select just the ones that start. Luckily, Dynamo has a way to filter this. Only three nodes are necessary to filter the line patterns that we want. The first one is called string contained. So the first input in the node is string but the output from our last node was an element, so we need a, a block in between those two. Right click into the white space and type element.name and connect the nodes. Now, if you double click on the white space, a code block node will be created automatically. So in the first line of the code block, we're going to type import and caps lock because is the name of the line pointers that we want to delete and we're going to connect this node to the second input on string contains. On the second line of the code block, let's type false and let's connect to the third input of the string contains which is ignore case, which means the dynamo will ignore if it's lowercase or uppercase. After that, let's make a group and name it filter, or maybe elements we want to select. Now for the step 3, right click and type filter by bool map. List is the list of all elements of the type we want to select. So we're going to our second node and connecting it to this node. So we're going to connect the string contains bool to this second input. 
So in this node, we have two outputs, in and out. The in is everything that is inside of the mask, which is all the elements that start with import, which was the name tag that we defined in our code block. And the out values are all the elements from our type list, minus the ones that we'll filter with our mask. But in this case, we only need to worry for the elements that we want to delete. So we're gonna use the in, which are the in mask outputs. It's a bit confusing, but let me show you visually. I'm going to create two watch lists and I'm going to connect the in values and the out values from this node. And I'm gonna press run. And as you can see on the first list, there are the three elements we want to delete. And on the second one, there are all the elements from the line patterns list minus elements that start with hidden. Okay, let me just delete the second watch list. I'm just gonna leave the first one and now I'm gonna finish this script. Now for the last part, let's right click on the web space and type Python. Now if you double click this node, you're gonna see this. So oh, this is actually some Python language coding that we're not going to go through here. Python is an easy programming language to learn, but it's not the focus of this channel. So in the download link in the description below, you're gonna find a text note with all of this Python script and copy everything and paste it in the code block. Unfortunately, in Dynamo, nobody made a note for delete everything I selected place. So that's why we're using some Python code in here. And just to finish, I'm going to create a watch list and I'm going to connect to the Python script. Now I'm going to press run. And if the run is successful, you're going to see a positive message on the watch list. Now, if I return to the Reddit and go check the line patterns, the ones that start with hidden are not deleted. I hope I could help you guys out. out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is my channel and every like and subscribe will help me monetize it and make more videos.